We are back with Mayor James Mueller after winning last night's election. Here's a look at the numbers right now with Mueller getting over 70% of the votes. Well, welcome, Mayor. Congratulations. Thank you. How did you celebrate last night? Well, you saw we were at Corby's <laughs> Irish Pub, uh, and uh, we were there not too late this time, but uh, certainly a lot to celebrate uh, for the South Bend team. Yeah, you had a lot to say, too, specifically about what this means, this election, even though it's an off year. You talked about what's happening on the national stage. Can you contextualize that a little bit for us? Well, thankfully, local elections are, are focused on the issues uh, facing our community, and, and so we don't get all the national issues coming into to these races. So thankfully, that's the that's the good news. But of course, uh, next year is 2024. It's a presidential year, and, and we know there's going to be a lot of discussion. But at least at this level in South Bend, uh, the, uh, we believe the voters sent a clear message that they want to see people work together, find common ground, and get results for our community. You talked about voter turnout, just over 10,000 votes in the mayor's race, but you're talking about 100,000 people in the city. Obviously not all of them are eligible to vote, but what does that mean big picture here when you step back and look at voter turnout across this nation? Well, we'd love to have people turn out every year. If people remember, the, the first, it's kind of complicated, but the Tuesday after the first Monday of November is uh, election time. If people voted, knew that every year, got out every year, we'd be in a lot better shape because when people vote, they make their voice heard, and then we don't, that crazy thing Things don't happen. You don't get some group of people that has a crazy idea that they want to jam on the rest of us. Uh, they, they can't overcome if everyone voted every time. And so we want to see turnout. We were pleased with the turnout here in South Bend. Uh, you know, a lot of cities across the country only see sing, single digit uh, turnouts uh, for municipal races. So obviously we'd like more voters to come out, but uh, we're happy with those that did yesterday. Absolutely. Well, you mentioned local issues and focus on those local issues. And one of the things you've prided yourself on is the police force here and making sure that they're fully staffed. Um, but as someone who just moved to this area, I think one of the biggest things that have always come up for us in this, especially, you know, in news now, are the violence, the gun violence. And we're losing kids, babies, 11, 12, 14, 15. What is an action that you plan on taking to combat that? Right. Well, absolutely. So, you know, uh, police department can only do so much. We're fully staffed for the first time in many years. We're going to add officers next year. Our violent crimes unit is solving homicides at 80% rate, well above the national average, around 50%. And so the police is doing what it can do, everything it can do. But now we've really got to focus in on the root causes of crime. And, and that's going to take, those are more complex. That's going to take the whole community coming together to get this down. And, you know, I still believe, obviously we have a lot of work with the people, but there's still the issue of guns. And, and gun access and so we're going to continue to push the state and federal levels to have common sense measures to make sure the guns don't get in the wrong hands. Uh, talk about the national picture once more. We got a debate airing on our air tonight with some of the Republican candidates on the presidential stage. Uh, where are we right now? You're talking about looking at the polls. If we looked at just the polls, Biden is trailing the former president right now. Uh, what needs to happen to change that on a local level in order to get people to go out and not only just vote but understand the messaging on both sides here? Well, this uh, President Biden and, and the Congress had a tremendous uh, amount of successes, legislative successes, uh, many more than uh, probably the most in my lifetime. You know, obviously the Affordable Care Act under President Obama, uh, there's some other pieces uh, in my lifetime, but th this has been a, a very productive Congress and a very productive administration. We just got to get the word out. So, you know, there's those American Rescue Plan dollars that still are, you know, helping build the, the Martin Luther King Dream Center, helping to build affordable housing, help to tackle these local issues. So. We, as those projects get completed, we need to spread the message that the federal government helped us make this wouldn't have been possible without the American Rescue Plan, wouldn't have been possible without President Biden and Democrats in Congress. Okay, and I just have just, just one more question for you. And my question is now this is your second term, are you just continuing what you plan on doing or is this a resurgence? Is there something new that you're looking to implement in the city? Well, like I said, we, we want to build, we want to continue. There's so many opportunities here for investment and projects. So we want to build on the record growth that we've seen uh, and we are seeing into the future. And then we also want to build on the, the, the gains in public safety, bring crime down further. Uh, but also education is something that we know we're going to focus on. It's not something the city has direct control over, but it's something that's critical for our community going forward. And uh, this is going to take the whole community coming together to figure this out. Has your opponent reached out to you at all since the numbers have come out? or is I have not heard uh, okay. uh, from him. No. Okay, okay, gotcha. We appreciate you. Congratulations. Thank Get some you. Sleep. Congratulations to you. <laughs> you Thank better you. leave. This man has a long day ahead of him. <laughs> Indeed, you do. Mayor, we appreciate it. Thank you. We've got more news coming up. See you there.